Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is crashing on splash screen or if the game is stuck on splash screen, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to install Visual C++ file. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here. You can see Visual Studio files. Scroll down. Download this x86 and x64 version. So click on download x86 and then run this exe file. Now click on yes to allow. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, hit install, click on yes to allow and download this x64 file as well. And run this exe file as well. So x64 file as well. If you see repair, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install, click on yes to allow. And once both x 64 and x86 both once both are installed then restart your computer restart is your must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to repair update uninstall and re reinstall ea anti cheat for this you can go to ea website the link is provided in the video description open this link in the browser it will take you to ea website download this ea anti cheat and then run this exe file in now once you run the exe file click on yes to allow and then Click on this drop down option, select all the exe file over here. Uh, select the skate uh, game over here. Scroll down and select the skate game and then you can click on repair. And then go to the game installation folder. Wherever the game is installed, select the skate folder. Click on select folder and let the install repair be done. And once the repair is complete, uh, you will see install success. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, again select skate and then click on update. And during the update, EA e anti cheat setup may restart. Once you see update success, now you can launch the game. Still not working, select skate and then click on uninstall. And once the uninstall is done, now click on install. And then you can check. Once the install is success, check. If that does not work, uninstall it and then you can relaunch the game. When you relaunch the game, during the launch, it will install EA Anti Cheat uh, once again. Uh, during the install, it will install EA Anti Cheat. Click on Yes to allow and let the installation complete, and then it will launch the game. Still not working. Let me close the game for now. Still not working. The next step is to go to the game installation folder. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click, click on Manage, Browse Local Files. If you have the game on EA App, in that case, you can open EA App, and then you can select the game, click on Manage over here, View Properties and then go to open folder and then open the installer folder over here and then EA anti cheat and then make a right click on EA anti cheat and then run as administrator and then click on yes to allow and then click on uninstall all this will uninstall EA anti cheat for all the EA games once it is done you can go back and then click on play and again once you click on play during the launch, it will install EA anti cheat and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Now, for this, Steam users make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash, D, uh, dash DX11, and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12 over here, launch the game and then check. Still not working, remove this, and then EA app users can go to EA website go to EA website and then you can click on manage uh, it's launching the game now and let me close the game for now so click on manage and then click on view properties in the advanced launch option you can type in dash dx11 and then you can save it launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 save it and then again launch the game and then check still not working remove this save it follow the next step now still not working the next step is to uh, you, only this is only for steam users uh, you can try this so from here till here this is provided in the video description you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in this and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to enable steam overlay now, if you have the game on Steam, 
uh, make a right click on the game over here select properties and if enable steam overlay is on uh, off then you can turn it on and then relaunch the game if this is already on you can turn it off and then check now rename skate folder in this location create a backup first because all the saved settings and the saved game progress will be lost now for this you can go to file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive users folder your username folder app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder local folder find skate folder copy this folder create a backup once you have a backup created now you can rename this folder make a right click and then you can rename it all the saved settings and save game progress will be lost you have to start everything from scratch once this is done now relaunch the game still not working the next step is to clear steam cache now for, for this if you have the game on steam go to steam go to settings and then go to downloads over here you can see clear ca cache option click on clear cache confirm and then check still not working the next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate to like if you have mon monitor refresh rate this is just an example to 240 hertz in that case you can lower it down to 120 hertz or maybe 60 hertz and then check you can even go to windows settings and go to system display and then go to advanced display and then over here you can select 60 hertz and then you can check still not working the next step is to uninstall codec pack for media player so if you have any uh, up, like codec pack installed in your computer uninstall it restart your computer and then check if your obs running close obs if you have razer tartarus uh, plugged in you can unplug it disconnect key crown keyboard and then launch the game if you have like any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program if you are using windows security go to uh, window settings privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allow app browse the apps go to the game installation folder so if you have the game on steam you can go to steam and then go to this location select all the exe file if you have the game on ea, EA app then you can open program files ea games skate select the game exe file click on open again add in allow app browse all apps and then select this e anti cheats game service launcher and then again add an allowed app browse all apps and then open installer e anti cheat select this exe file and then do the same thing in windows firewall so type in control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then do the same thing uh, open the game folder and then select both the exe file ea anti cheat and then allow another app click on browse and this one state also in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then installer ea anti cheat select this one add once the game is added now you can launch the game still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files go to the game installation folder and then make a double click launch the game from here if you have the game on e app click on manage view properties and then click on open folder and again make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab oh, sorry make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work select windows 8 over here hit apply hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok scroll up you can see ea anti-cheat game service launcher make a right click click on run as administrator and then check still not working the next step is to run ea app run app recovery repair ea app uninstall and reinstall latest version of ea app now for this you can type in you can close the ea app first and then make a right click on ea app and then click on open file location 
and here you can see EA app updater make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and let the repair complete this may take some time so let this complete and once this is done it will automatically close and once this is cl closed you have to uh, launch the game once again and then check so here you can see it's uh, almost complete staging is in progress once this is done it will close automatically and then you can check still not working in that case you can run this app recovery make a right click when you run ea app updater it will restart ea app and then you can check if that does not work you can run app recovery make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow then you will see a clear cache option you have to click on clear cache click on clear cache and once this, this will relaunch EA app and then check now the next step is to if you have the game on steam try launching the game from EA app or epic games launcher so like if you're facing problem on steam in that case uh, you can use EA app you can install the game on EA app you can just download EA app from the EA website and you can search for a skate game and then you can install it on EA app and then check you can even use Epic Games Launcher. You can install Epic Games Launcher and then try to install the game and vice versa. So if you're facing problem on eApp, you can use Steam. If you're facing problem on Epic Games Launcher, you can use eApp or Steam. So try to use different platform. You have to reinstall the game and then check. Now Steam users, make sure that you know, Steam account is linked to EA account. EA, EA account. So log into EA account, go to connected accounts and then make sure your Steam is linked over here. If not linked, you can link it and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website, select your graphic card, click on find. And then the latest graphic card driver you will see on this page. Whichever is the latest graphic card driver, GeForce Game Read driver, click on view and then you can click on download. And once the download is complete, uh, you can run the exe file and then click on yes to allow, click on OK and then click on agree and continue. Select custom, click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next. After the clean installation, restart your computer and then you can check. Next step is to update the windows to the latest version. For this, you can open windows settings, go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and then after the system restart you can launch the game and then check you verify the game file if you have the steam uh, game on steam make a right click go to properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and once done launch the game if you have the game on e app you can select the game over here and then you will see click on this manage option and then click on repair once the repair is done launch the game and then check now, if you have these applications running on a computer, daemon tools, then in that case, uh, you can disable the daemon tool. Make a right click on the start menu. First of all, make sure that it's not running somewhere. If it's running, make a right click and then close it. You can open task manager, make a right click, go to task manager. And then you can, if you find daemon tools uh, running, then you can close it. I don't have daemon tool running. If you find daemon tool over here, make a right click, then click on end task. This is just an example. And then you can go to even device manager and you can expand this storage controller. If you have daemon tool, make a right click and then click on disable. In my case, I have already disabled. Disable this and then you can check even you can even uninstall it and then check. If you have any other application like RE, WSD, DS4, Windows, Auto, Hotkey, Razer, Synapse, Razer Software, Corsair, ICU, Face it, anti cheat, riot vanguard, logitech. If you have these application running, close it and uh, 
end the process in task manager and disable it in the device manager if there. Disable XVDD SCI SCSI mini port in device manager. If you find it in device manager, disable. If you have Corsair bus in device manager, disable it. You can even uninstall these application like if you have VLC codec wallpaper engine MSI app, you can close these application and make sure that you end it from the task manager. Perform clean boot. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all. Then hit apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option. Restart you can be there and then launch the game. If you have these applications like Zapret app, Crypto Pro, Punk Buster, you can uninstall it. Uninstall Goodbye app. If you're using drop top application, Rain Meter application, if you're using any third party mouse and keyboard application like Corsair ICU of software, you can close it. 3x software support, close it. If you're using Game Companion, close it. If you have any product from Scan, if you find menu.exe running in the task manager, you can end the task over there. If you're running Vibe ports or Vibes VR software, you can close it and then check. Also, this step, once like when you launch the game, when you launch the game, you can Alt tab and you can go to any browser. Like when you launch the game, just Alt tab and you can go to any browser and just wait for the game to start. And once done, you can switch back to the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have Hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected. Turn off VPN. Close all the other overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, Nvidia app running, close it. Do not overclock. Set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Reward Tuner. If you are undervolted, you can be remove the undervolt and then check. Last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the splash screen crash with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.